Hello, welcome to this Gadget Tube review. Today I'll be reviewing two phone salesman products. First of all, this Qistone wireless charger, which is a portable battery power bank and wireless charger in one. And this little iPhone doohickey that you put inside your case, you plug into the lightning port, and it makes it capable of wireless charging. So first of all, let's look at the wireless charger itself. So instead of buying a normal wireless charger, which is just plug into a wall and charges your phone, you could get this, which does function like that. You plug it in using the micro USB cable, but that also charges the built-in 4000 milliamp battery. So you can use this as a portable battery. Now, just a quick run through of what you get with the package. You get the wireless charger, of course, but you also get two USB cables. Importantly, you get a long cable if you want to plug this device in on a desk and you want to plug the other end into a charger, of course. But you also get a short cable if you want to use this device as a portable battery and just don't want a long cable in your bag if you want to just straight plug into your device. On the front of the device you will see four LEDs which are indicating how much battery you have left. If it's full, usually if you've got it plugged in, it will just have four solid LEDs. And of course there is a touch button on the phone salesman logo which turns on the device itself which is quite nice. The device is meant to look a bit like a stone pebble kind of thing and it has this kind of smooth matte finish. It also has some grippy pads on the bottom so if you have this on your desk it's not going to slide around when you keep plonking your phone on it. But of course the main feature of this device is the wireless charging capabilities and if you put your phone on top after you've turned on the device your phone will automatically start charging if you have it built in or if you get one of these retrofittable pads that plug into your iPhone or into your smartphone. On the bottom of this device interestingly is another wireless inducting pad that inducts from another wireless pad so this technically doesn't ever have to be plugged in. Now I also got these little retrofit pads which you put inside your case, plug into your lightning adapter on your iPhone and basically makes your iPhone wireless charging capable. Although it does take up the port on the bottom of your phone so you will have to unplug if you want to plug in normally. Now I tested this device with a Nexus 4, I also tested it with my HTC One by adding one of these little wireless pads inside the case and plugging it in the bottom and interestingly it does work quite well. If you get the positioning right first time then it works but as you can hear if it's not in quite the right position it will have a hissy fit until you just move it and then you get it right but you soon get used to where you need to put your phone on the device to get it charging correctly first time the only problem is with these little wireless chargers is these are only capable of 600 milliamp these little pads that retrofit onto your wireless charger which means they're a bit slow it comes up with a warning saying trickle charge a bit like when you plug into a low powered USB cable onto a computer for example so overall for 45 pounds you get a wireless charger and a portable battery I do recommend getting this one it's quite nice the little plug-in charging receiver thing for the iPhone is a little bit pricey it's 20 pounds and it was a bit more pricey than the one I got for my HTC from some other company which was about seven quid um, to be honest that one's a little bit pricey but I would definitely recommend the little wireless charging pad as an all-in-one kind of unit and it looks like a rock so there you go it's a winner